Mark Spencer here from AppleMotion.net and RippleTraining.com. I had a question about how to create an outline around an image or a video that has transparency. I thought it was interesting. I thought you might find it interesting as well and a useful thing to be able to do. So here I have a graphic, and if we go up to the Channels menu and choose Transparent, you can see that it has transparency. So what my goal here is, is to change this instead of to have a color image, just to have a white outline that is a little larger than this image, and then to be able to use that outline in, in many different ways. But basically, we're just going to go over how to create the outline. So the first thing we're going to do is change this into a shape that is filled with white. One way to do that is over in our library under Filters, under Color Correction, I'm going to use the Channel Swap Filter. So I'm going to drop that on there. And then in the heads-up display, I'm just going to set everything to alpha. In other words, the red, green, and blue channels will take their information from the alpha channel. And the result will be a pure white image where there is no transparency. So that's the first step. The second step is that we're going to add another filter. And here, I'm going to go down to the Stylize category. And we're going to choose the filter called MinMax. Now, we're going to use this in a couple different ways. So I'm going to put it on there. And then I'm actually going to duplicate the entire layer. And let's turn off the lower one for just a second. On the upper one, I'm going to set the min max to uh, maximum, and then use the radius slider to make it a little bit bigger. You can see I'm actually growing the bounds of that image. OK, then I'll turn that one off. I'll turn the bottom one on and use that min max slider uh, set to minimum. And we'll make it a little smaller here. And then we've got our two different uh, layers here. Now, I'll turn this other one back on. Now, I'm simply going to use the bottom one to cut a hole out of the top one. So, I'm going to take the top one and I'm going to group it. I'm going to go into the object menu and choose group because this will make this work a little easier like this, okay? Now, I'm going to apply a mask, an image mask to the group containing this top layer. You can see it's closed there. It's actually inside the other group. So, it might be a little more easy to see if I keep that closed. So, I'll choose object. I'll choose add image mask. And then I'm going to drag this uh, other version, the smaller version, the minimized version, into the mask source. And I'm going to set it to invert the mask. And that cuts out the, the larger one with the smaller one. And we end up with this outline. And that's basically all there is to it, to create an outline. And this will work on video or on graphics. And from there, what's kind of neat is if I um, open this back up here, it's adjustable because I can go back to the min-max sliders and I can change the radius of the outer one and I can change the radius of the inner one, the minimum, to change how that looks. Uh, you can also do other things like blur it and add, add glow filters and a lot of interesting things to change it from there. But that's the basic process of taking a graphic or a video that has transparency and creating an outline around it. I hope that was useful. Um, if you want more tips, you can check out this channel here or applemotion.net or look at any of my training on rippletraining.com. Thanks for watching.